All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. And this is just going to be a really super quick unboxing of the brand new T Sauce Raider. So, shout out to the guys over at T Sauce for sending this over and love working with those guys. Uh, never had a 1911 before, and especially this one. And I will show you here now. This is the hard case that you can expect to get when you order or purchase your Raider uh, at your uh, distribution center, local gun store. Uh, pretty exceptional hard case. Your paperwork, I want to get that moved up out of the way here for you. And, and there it is, boys. That is, in itself, the whole reason why this thing is here. So, this gun, there's a ton of good videos out there. I'm going to put in some B-roll now. Can hold my body down There ain't no grave Can hold my body down when I hear the trumpet sound, I'm on a ride right out of the ground. Ain't no grave can hold my body down. Well, look way down the river. What do you think I see? I see a band of angels, and they're coming after me. Ain't no grave can hold my body down. There ain't no great of uh, those other channels uh shout out grand thumb this t sauce raider has been all over youtube so far several several shooting videos and we're also going to be using some ammo to break this thing in properly but just shout out to those guys for doing that awesome b-roll the actual m45 a1 which is the pistol that the marine corps adopted that is the whole reason why this one existed taking it out of the box here for you just a super, super nice example of this firearm. There's a better view of it. The peanut butter, holy grail, flat dark earth drip on this pistol is so nasty. They did such an awesome job on this gun. And like we mentioned earlier, this pistol is famed after the M45A1. I will throw in some B-roll now so you guys can check that out. Shout out Grand Thumb for doing this video a couple years ago on the original Colt that this one is famed after. But that pistol was developed by Colt for specifically the MARSOC, the Marine Raiders uh, Reconnaissance Group in the Marine Corps. I believe they ordered about 12,000 of these pistols at the original order. And they were originally marked on this side, of course, the U.S. marking. And then on this side, they had a QR code and a very special serial number that ended in EGA, Eagle, Eagle Globe and Anchor, obviously for the Marine Corps. But this pistol, as you can see on this side, does not have those markings. It would say Colt M45A1 and then USMC in here. The later decommissioned pistols that were brought back after when they finally switched over to the Glock 19, I believe is the current issue for that, uh, that, that group of Marines. Uh, that USMC was slashed out and then you can actually still order the M45A1 through Colt, it would obviously be a reproduction, but a really cool piece of history. If you don't want to drop the coin on a pistol like that, this is a very, very nice, great alternative. And I will show you guys here now. Get the magazine out that comes with it. Very, very stiff, brand new action. And for all you, uh, for all you safety guys out there, this thing is completely empty. I have never shot this pistol. It is good to go. And actually, the magazines that this thing comes with, I'm going to try to get this. Uh, the box and the papers doesn't really do it for me in reviews. So you get a nice cutout box. You get a takedown tool and a chamber flag and a couple of these bore brushes that you'll find uh, generically throughout buying pistols and stuff. Uh, you know, in that journey, you guys go through at the gun store. This is a Glock cleaning brush. This is the one that comes through T-Sauce. Nice details, very, very nice, uh, but that's not what you're here for. You're here for the gun. So let's go ahead and get this. From T-Sauce, this gun is very, very, very well equipped. You get a forged carbon steel, full size with Picatinny rail frame. Cole actually dubbed this gun back in the day when they were actually making this for the Marines, the rail gun. So a modified rail gun, forged carbon steel government link slide, 45 ACP chamber, 5-inch uh, cold hammer forged barrel, uh, internals or Colt 70 series, Novak style three-dot sights, which we will be doing a follow-up video from my boys at XS Sights and replacing these, show you just how easy that is. 
uh, black and FDE G10 texture grips. Those grips are probably one of my top three things I love about this pistol so far without shooting it is these grips will not let you down. FDE Cerakote and the thing weighs two pounds and four ounces. So obviously the 1911 platform, not known to be super lightweight, but very reliable. Uh, you do get two of these, let's see here, Metgar magazines uh, marked Made in Italy. So they're blued, uh, pretty much your standard on the cheaper side magazines. You guys will see on the other video that we do when we actually get... I can't remember the old saying for Pro Mag magazines. I picked this up at Academy uh, just to see what it would look like. I know the, the 1911 is not known for capacity, but I thought at the range it would be, you know, just something cool to throw out there. You know, something to put on Reddit for you guys to see if it'll work. So let's see if uh, first impressions here. There we go. Locks back. Maybe it was just uh, maybe it was just me. So there you go, guys. There's the the ten rounder from Pro Mag. It does chamber. And while we're dripping this thing out, let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and show you the other feature of why this gun is so sweet. So we've got your standard TLR one here. Obviously, if you have a rail on a gun, it is kind of mandatory that you do fill the rail with something. Uh, you know, whether that be a forward grip or uh, they used to have in the day those bayonet knives <laughs> you guys would see off of Etsy and stuff or maybe eBay when they were still allowed to do that. But super, super easy install. This thing has a standard 1913 pick rail, so can attach your uh, your Surefire light, your, uh, your, everybody has those TLR1s now, TLR1S, TLR7. So there you go, guys, a very, very, Capable pistol. This thing on the T-Saw side is about $769. Uh, in reality, you're probably like a $650, $600, $699, depending on where you're at in the country. I have seen them on Gun Broker for uh, six and a half. Got a very, very smooth action. Gun is clear. So let's go ahead and ghost the trigger together. Oh, wow. I mean, that's, that's why you buy a 1911. Let's go ahead and get that camera focused on that trigger. Just a very, very sharp and crispy trigger pull. Yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be a game changer at the range. Let's see if this mag will. So there you go. There's your there's your little drippy peanut butter T sauce raider 1911. I really, really am excited about getting to shoot this thing. Uh, I think it's gonna be a joy. This is my first ever 1911 on the page in the arsenal whatever you want to call it. This is my first experience is owning. I'm, I hadn't even broken this gun down just yet. Uh, I am probably going to take the slide off, wipe any of the factory, uh, if there's any kind of oil in there. I did find out that there was a little bit of oil on these, so I went ahead and ran some Lucas oil on here just to get them uh, a little bit slicked up, eject a little bit easier. But as far as uh, the inside goes, you, I, what I have read, and you guys may know better, but you want to really lube the inside of these rails. They say a 1911 really likes to run uh, with some oil on it, so that's exactly what we're going to do. And not that these sights are bad at all, uh, but I just love a night sight on a pistol. I just naturally like how it looks. Uh, these Novak style sights got a dovetail back here, going to be super easy to change out. And then the front is actually a dovetail with a tiny, tiny little pin holding it in. So, gonna be a very easy procedure, I, I hope, and uh, we're, we're gonna give it a go. So, this is the T-Sauce Raider. You guys are gonna see a lot more of that on the channel coming up, and uh, really, really, it really likes to eject those magazines. I don't think I'm gonna have any trouble out of those Metgar mags, but needless to say, we're gonna find out together. So guys, just a quick unboxing video. That is the T-Sauce Raider. So far, the fit and finish is super, super nice. I love the pick rail. I love the accessories. Uh, I'm gonna kinda of keep this original. I thought about having this milled, not really in the cards right now. I like the classic look. I like the three dot sight. Excess sight's coming in for a sight review. So you guys stay tuned to that and we're gonna have some shooting footage, shooting steel. Uh, see exactly what this thing's about and give you a range report soon. So stay tuned, guys. Got a lot of cool videos coming down the pipe. And as always, we'll catch you on the next one.